Welcome everyone to our podcast episode 91 with uh, Angelina Soon, my honored guest. We are going to speak today about understanding redox molecules in cellular communication. And as you can see, it's a very, very important topic in terms of our internal health. So without further ado, let's begin with the introduction of Angelina. Angelina, can you tell us what is your background? How did you get to this place of cellular communication? Absolutely. Thank you, David. And uh, the listeners, thank you for having me here. Uh, my name is Angelina Sun, and uh, David is the first person to pronounce my <laughs> last name, the right pronunciation, because uh, it's actually, it is Sun. Um, in Chinese, and uh, it just happened to be sun in English. So I think it's a beautiful meaning because sun is great, right? Has great energy and all of that. So it's a beautiful coincidence. Um, mm. But it is a legit last name in Chinese. And um, yes, I'm in San Francisco, California. I had a pleasure to connect with David through a health network. And um, um, my business is in holistic health. I work with, uh, as David mentioned, redox signaling technology and a product. And uh, a lot of people probably not familiar with what is redox, but don't worry, we will go into that shortly. And um, yeah, I'm also a... A freelance architect, and um, I have uh, I would say multi interest. Um, I'm a hip hop dancer, <laughs> so I'm taking acting class. Those are the things really um, are my hobbies, and they give me my energy back. And also, of course, I have this always have this passion for holistic health. Um, so yeah, I had a pleasure to find this gift for my parents when they were experiencing some health challenges, and. Uh, nothing happens for an accident it's life just happening for us and then um, it's through a process and a journey uh, I decided to make my business because that's definitely my passion I believe it's helping people in a more direct way um, but yeah that's a little bit about me thank you David oh you're welcome so um, well for the people that are listening also let's just clarify that the redox uh, reactions that happen in our body are the interchange of um, oxidation and also uh, reduction. Those two phenomena happen within our body every day at all times, and we need this exchange of energy. That is pretty much the meaning of these redox uh, reactions, that they exchange energy so that we can have a much better communication, as Angelina mentions. And what else can you tell us or how can you um, also explain to people what is this cellular communication? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, David. And uh, that's beautiful because David is definitely a scientist and uh, health professional, medical professional. And uh, I came in to get to know this technology as a layman, um, didn't have any, you know, much of a strong science background and uh, um, was also really searching for my parents. I uh, and we've been vegans a little bit more about my family is we've been vegans for 13 years. <laughs> we, mm. we do the meditation and uh, pretty much very holistic my, mindset. And uh, when I was searching for my parents, I found the technology, um, the company, because it was featured on Huffington's Post and the Forbes magazine. And uh, um First of all, when I first time read redox signaling molecules, to be honest, it didn't mean much of anything for my brain. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm here because then I can, um, I believe a lot of your audience pretty much are very scientific, you know, well knowledge in that in, in this field. But uh, um, not to mention, we have a, a lot of people still are just common people, right? So oh, I could cool. came, I could just come in to take them through my journey and explain it in a very simple and elegant way, because it is a very simple and elegant idea. And mm -hmm. yeah, but without much understanding of the term, um, I was completely follow my gut feeling. 
just like I don't know why it looks interesting and uh, I remember I'm the post is still there having the post mentioned I believe it's a 2017 uh, article and it says these are the five emerging technologies that will shape human beings future um, and <laughs> I was just like oh okay let me look it up I don't know it looks interesting um, after did a little bit of research, I really loved what I saw with the more understanding of the idea behind it. And uh, we all know our body is a very complex communication network for the body to run healthy, smoothly. Our cells and our body actually sending signals to communicate with each other every single second during the day. That's how they cooperate and function together. And for this action to happen, they need redox signaling molecules. So they're actually critical cellular messengers. And uh, mitochondria produce those molecules in every cell of our body. And um, um, what happened is uh, starting puberty, around puberty, our body started naturally losing those molecules around 1% uh, every year. And on the outside showing, yeah, just think about the idea of you're wearing down this machine, your body. So on the outside showing, yeah, of course, we're aging. We don't look five years old anymore. Um, and maybe people are getting some symptoms, depends, right? How you take care of your health. And um, people are getting aches and pains. Those are um, what's going on on the outside. But inside on the cellular level is our cellular breaking down is happening, which we don't see, but that's what's going on. And with that process, we're naturally losing those redox signaling molecules. So which means, you know, like our storage of the redox molecules are reducing a bit by bit over time. And we also know with today's environmental toxicity, uh, our lifestyle, the oxidative stress, we could be damaging our body, mitochondria, even faster, more. So the cellular breaking down will be happening faster, which means we will be losing those redox molecules faster. And uh, another side is our body, the mitochondria is being damaged. So our body's capacity to produce those redox molecules reduced as well. So just in the nutshell, then that means we have less and less redox molecules, which are the cellular messengers. And the think about your, that's the reduce or the weakening in the cellular communication. Just think about your cell phone bar from five bar reduced slowly to either one or zero, which means it's, it's, it's not functioning. You cannot use it for call, or people don't receive your text messages. That's what's happening in our body. Um, yeah. Maybe there's a fire and the cells are yelling, oh my God, there's a fire. But your <laughs> immune system, nobody is hearing anybody. And there might be traffic going on inside your body. That's what's happening. Um, and the scientists, after they had the, the, the microscope, they realized, oh, this thing. And in the beginning, they were saying, oh, it's just a waste material. But later on, with the involvement of the, the, the science, and they realized, oh, my God, these molecules are critical. They realize how important the cellular communication and how important those cellular messengers play in this whole thing. Because to be honest, <laughs> if your cells don't signal, little else really matter, right? Um, and then people had the idea, okay, so since we're naturally losing those molecules, wouldn't it be nice to try to stabilize them outside the human body since it's a natural process? But how about if we can replicate, stabilize them outside the human body, then we can replenish them back into our body to restore that cellular communication. It all makes sense. Um, but for the past decades, of course, many brilliant scientists and doctors try to do it. And what happened is it's very fleeting, those molecules in nature. So think about catching a spark. That's how hard it is. Um, as many people try to come up with the formula, try many, many, many times for decades, um, but nobody had been able to do it. So it actually used to be claimed as impossible to stabilize those molecules. They can replicate it, but it will turn back to salt and water. Um, 
That's why when finally there's a formula out there uh, and the products were developed around it, of course, and uh, people were so excited. That's why it's on those big magazines. And uh, yeah, that's uh, a little bit or more. <laughs> Hope it makes sense about redox molecules, but that was my process understanding it. And it mm -hmm. all made sense for me. Um, I, I'm this firm believer. I always believe our body has such amazing, it's such an ama amazing and beautiful machine. And it's a little universe right here, to be honest. Yes. It's intelligent. It self-regulates. Um, our body really knows what to do. What happened is uh, maybe we either not prioritizing our health these days, or we don't have the necessarily most correct uh, information to take care of it to you know we we might be messing up with our body's own capacity to heal us to keep us well um mm -hmm. so for me when I first time learned that idea of course it sound too, it sounded too good to be true um just but intuitively I really really believe that's so aligned with what I always believe in um it's such a beautiful idea that empower our body's own potential to keep us well. So that's why I was very enthusiastic and I had my parents um, start having it, of course. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, it was a beautiful way to explain these uh, phenomena as you mentioned. Uh, they are very small molecules. They are very fleeting, as, as you mentioned, because they are quickly communicating the message and then they are they are transformed in our bodies and these messages and this communication are easily repaired by just changing the lifestyle that is also sleeping well eating more um mindful exercising mm -hmm. exercising of course mm -hmm. meditating all of the pillars that we are mentioning here in the podcast almost every episode we mentioned one of the of the pillars and we focus on that and that's uh, the idea of giving people more power in their own health and more um, knowledge in terms of understanding that if you regularly don't sleep well you will damage this communication if you regularly don't eat well or eat poorly or eat processed food, that's the same stuff. Don't doing exercise is also the same kind of thing. So it is not obsessing about the things. It is not becoming obsessed about um, being a robot, let's say, that just follows this every day, every single day. You can have, of course, days where you are more relaxed, but mainly the discipline and the constancy is what is going to repair your body and resting sleeping is extremely important to this communication because during sleep many of these messengers and your mitochondria are being repaired yes. so let us know what happened with your parents that started to to test these molecules <laughs> yes 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 and david thank you also for um reminding me to bring that up of course is uh, yes I'm working with this uh, physical product or I'm working with uh, this modality but uh, even in my business the message I always try to convey is exactly what you just shared um, it's about a whole picture and uh, yes my family I mentioned we uh, the reason why we're being very holistic minded is that we actually started following a spiritual master together, me and my parents, 13 years ago. And uh, that's where we started the meditation, the vegan diet. Um, so we've always been, I guess, um, more advanced since that was a very, very new idea in the past in China. And uh, we are from China, mainland, Beijing. I was born in Shanghai, grew up in Beijing. Um, and yeah, I'm very passionate about fitness. I'm getting certified as a power yoga trainer. Um, mm. It's a combination of uh, 
uh, weight training with, of course, some yoga pose for the flexibility. Um, so exercising, fitness, and I mentioned that dance is so such an important part also in my life. I would say I'm really an advocate for uh, holistic health and really just about prioritizing our health um, in life instead of ignoring it. Um, all those common sense, as we mentioned, sadly are not common practice these days. It yeah. comes down to the basic these days. Um, just I, you know, sleep, exercising, and I'm the meditator, right? So I even talk about uh, looking health, everything in a deeper level. There's an energy level and your emotional health, mental health, all of this working together to be to complete our health, the whole mm -hmm. picture, right? Um, anyhow, yes, and uh, just as how beautiful redox molecules ideas are really it's our body's own element and if uh, we don't take care of it we're naturally losing more of them and uh, you are damaging your cellular communication and that's where things started getting wonky um, but it all comes down to our basic building blocks of our lives our cells and then are some simple practice during day-to-day -day life to really just taking care of this body and then we pr pretty much yeah we still of course need some extra support these days yeah. depends on different individuals but then you will really found hey my body has such amazing beautiful capacity to keep me healing keep me healthy i'm feeling so great and that's how our life desi deserve to be anyhow and uh, because my parents we were doing all of these things taking care of our health um so they were blessed with great health before but what happened to my family is that the move to the states is always planned because uh, um, they wanted me to study abroad and my parents would like to retire to abroad to a foreign country as mm -hmm. well but what happened is my parents they were running a uh, very successful business in China. And it's this, my family story could be a little bit dramatic, but that's exactly what happened. Um, their business really suffered through 2008 and the downturn. Um, and yes, they literally lost business, unfortunately, before the move. So the plan drastically changed. We came to a new country with almost just three suitcases. And um, my, we found my dad started having depression because he lost his uh, whole life work. And that led to his uh, early signs of dementia in his early 50s. And mm -hmm. my mom just became the household main bread earner unexpectedly. Um, but my mom did really amazing work. I respect what she did uh, given the idea is my mom had, didn't have the time to go learn English very well um, to adapt. She had to um, just start grinding to support me through so architecture school, paid our San Francisco rent. Um, my mom started small nail salon with her friends. Definitely was breaking her back, working 12 hours, six to seven days a week. So my mom's house, I saw her it's declining over some years. My mom started having shoulder pain, brain fog, low energy, and her skin was aging really fast, getting wrinkly really fast. Um, and for me, I should have mentioned, I had a skin challenge back then. Mm -hmm. It was full face acne breakouts. It was bad enough that I had to go to a clinical treatment for it for about a year. Mm -hmm. um, but we were really in surviving mode, um, people, uh, probably really can't imagine but uh, we were trying to get her to get a rent and uh, to not pretty much live on the street to be honest <laughs> to to be in the survival mode so we really didn't have much of the choice so even though yeah I would like to take care of my house but we couldn't um, I had uh, a side I had a couple side jobs that I could pay for my uh, only expense while well, I was going to school since my mom is already paying for my tuition, right? So for example, normal days, if I could sleep five hours, that's heaven. Um, but that's where, you know, probably the stress. So my skin was messed up and uh, yeah, I just couldn't take care of my body. Anyhow, um, I was devastated searching for my parents and uh, 
whatever you call it, I follow my <laughs> intuition, my gut feeling, and I'm so blessed when I was searching. And I found ASEA online myself, as I mentioned. Um, and uh, I think it's completely aligned with what I always believe in. And uh, we, of course, took a leap of faith. That's how my family was introduced to it, because I just search up they have the safety study it's completely non-toxic and mm. uh, i think i didn't appreciate this enough in the past but uh, now people probably need to really aware hey it's very very powerful to say that these days to say something that is completely non-toxic that you would do no harm to the body um it's almost impossible these days. <laughs> Your uh, even supplements or great things people are taking. Um, and uh, of course, redox is a completely different idea. It's not nutritional, but it's our body's own element. So it's considered as a bio replenishment. And uh, the reason why it has completely no toxic is think about there are the identical redox molecules, identical molecules that we already have. You, you have it now, you're breathing anything, that means, hey, you got redox molecules. If you don't have any of them, that's done. <laughs> it's game over. So mm -hmm. we have them. Uh, that's why when those things are replenished back to the body, um, the cells uh, just imagine kind of like recognize those molecules right away. It's like, oh my God, your redox molecules come and work with us. Um, so you start, it goes to work in less than nanoseconds. And uh, since, right, our own, own thing back into our own body, that's uh, how we could say, hey, there's completely non-toxic to those molecules and then to this product, because that's what's in this product is a bioreplenishment. Anyhow, um, and uh, because of that, then I said, okay, I saw a money back guarantee. There's literally nothing to lose to so give it a try and then you know i don't know how it's going to help but i know it will never hurt my parents that's yeah. all i cared about i'm so very much grateful and glad that i took a leap of faith and um uh, so we got on the product and um uh, and i have to make a disclaimer here you know asia is not a medicine it does not treat cure anything um it, what it simply does is really enhancing empowering our bo body's own capacity to keep you well that's what it does and i'll be compliant afterwards to follow the bureaucracy but anyhow um what happened is uh, uh, we actually stay on the products for at least three years before I decide to also be an advocate to, to uh, join this movement, to raise world's awareness of this technology, how our body function with this idea. Um, three years, we were just product users because I graduated. I was busy with architecture work. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. uh, my dad's cognitive issue is gone he does not forget things anymore we found of course after several months consistently right giving your body those communication molecules back um that's such a blessing to be honest biggest thing happened to my family um and my dad had this um um really bad joint issue that normally uh, age people, or if you have some inflammations going on at those joints, you could have those discomforts. People know what it is. Um, my dad had that for decades. Since I remember things, he always had several different kinds of creams for that. Um, but uh, really, it's gone for him after applying the ASEA redox gel for that part. Um, and it's such an amazing thing because people have it, probably know it's a bother something that could always cause discomfort for you. Um, so that's very, very big thing for me. That's life quality. And he's very, very grateful as well for that. And uh, my mom's shoulder discomfort was lifted um, because of her emotional work. She had that really bad. Um, and uh, that part is gone. 
Perfect. My mom is very healthy, energetic these days. And uh, just for the anti-aging benefits, her skin looks at least 10 years younger. <laughs> I have picture proof for that. She's very happy. And uh, my skin issue, the acne, my face was, uh, uh, yeah, my, my, my breakout issue was cleared after three months, basically. And uh, that's pretty big for me um, yeah. <laughs> because it's it, it was it's looking very unpleasant when I had that. So that's such a huge relief for me. And uh, really, then after the results we were receiving, um, it, it's a little bit of the journey for me to wrap my mind around the signs because I got curious. I said, okay, I'm not so much into really high science or scientific stuff, but I really just want to know what happened. I'm very passionate about health. Um, I started tuning into those educational webinars, I guess, because of science. So the majority of the people working with the technology, the products are holistic health professionals um, and uh, a lot of doctors. Those educational webinars by them are super helpful. Um, I learned from this naturopathic in UK, her analogy she was making literally enlightened me. I, that was my turning point. She said, yeah, if we look into our health as a big house, those redox molecules, they are the labors to build this house. They still need the building materials, right? Um, our, those could be the nutrition our cells need to be empowered um, or whatever the resources the body is pulling to keeping you healthy and functioning. But without the labors, which are redox molecules, those building materials will not be properly absorbed, utilized or maybe even delivered to the wrong places because the missed cellular communication. And that was my, you know, the thing moment. I was, wow, really just sort of realized, hey, I, okay, I certainly did not appreciate the science enough in the past. This does now sound like something just uh, nice to have oh my god we were sick oh my god we need it it does sounds like something actually foundational for cellular communication uh, which is cellular health and healthy cells are pretty much healthy body that was my turning point since i had been looking for ways to retire my mom faster and uh, the pandemic hit actually at that time so i was able to work from home and uh, there's a calling and uh, I totally believe it because that's how I could um, first, of, of course, commit to, yes, I want to be part of this movement. I want to um, help people in a more direct way. We took it for granted, but only when you were losing your health, you will realize, yes, health is literally the foundation for this physical life. Without health, <sighs> You, we, we, you, you can, the healthy, the, the unhealthy people think about only one thing, which is getting well. Only with health, we can talk about, okay, adventure, relationships, um, mm -hmm. beautiful life, uh, dreams. But without your health, you cannot really do much of anything. And then realize, yes, it is critical. It is important for people. I understand the feeling when we were losing it. And uh, I want to bless other families just like how we were blessed with this gift um then I really found more purpose in my life I'm still passionate as I mentioned in different things design will always be my passion uh, so people probably are thinking about this question but yes I'm still doing architecture um <laughs> but uh, it's it's really a gift that I found a CEO. I found this this whatever you call it business my mission in my life um, it makes me feel fulfilled. Uh, it's, a, it's something call me up in the morning and to make me excited to get into the world and to spread the word of this beautiful gift. But anyhow, then the, yeah, it's a blessing. And I'm always grateful to, to talk about it if people are open to listen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Angelina. Um, this was such a nice wrapping story to to underlie the message of health 
because as you mentioned, whenever people feel that they are losing their health, that's when they really start thinking about it yes. and do something about it. Meanwhile, they can say that they are fine while they are still have some underlying symptoms, such as probably not having enough energy or become very distracted or yes. um, not being able to sustain a routine of exercise or whatever it is. They mm -hmm. sometimes think that those are trivial things, but any trivial thing in, in health is just going up. And as mm -hmm. you mentioned, you are going to lose the labor you are going to lose the labor of the molecules that you need to replenish and you need to take more action in terms of doing that. So how can people uh, support this cause and help you so that you can also explain them more or go further into, into this kind of product if they want to? Where can they find you? Absolutely. Um, I will, of course, David will include my website and uh, um, my email um, in the description of the show. People can find it. But yes, I will include my website and the people can reach out to me uh, at my email. My, e my email is asunasea at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, I love your closing word. What, what you just shared, David, is I want to take this opportunity, encourage people really take, uh, have some time for reflection since it's still kind of the new year, right? Then yeah. the new year restart, um, literally starting January the 22nd. So the energy just restarted with the end of the Mercury retrograde. Sorry, I know it's a more scientific channel, um, but the energy <laughs> just shifted. Oh, so okay. I really, yeah, like David reminded us, for me, it's uh, um, people think health or those things that are not urgent, like, okay, my, fire, my house is now on fire. So those things I could postpone. I don't have to think about it right now. I understand everybody's life is busy, stressful, but those things think about are those things really trivial they're yeah. not just like maybe you know people you, your ma marriage or maybe your family relationship if you neglect it it will get to a point no turning there's no turning po point when you damage thing for too long or if you really want to fix it man it's gonna be a big work or a long time so the same thing applied to our health there's really no quick fix for anything in life, especially health. And um, um, it might be hard, but it takes just a little bit of intentionality. That's really our goal and our even purpose for sitting here and talking. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, is really, I want people to take a look into our life, do some a little bit of reflection, contemplating, and uh, those things to be honest, even like planning in my life, strategizing for business, for uh, other parts in my life, those things for me, actually, they don't look urgent, but they're the most important time or, or things in my life, because without them, my life get disorganized or one little things, they pile up, stacking up the negative, like for our health, to a point that, well, I don't think anybody want to feel the feeling of regret. <laughs> so um, I just really want to encourage everybody um, really think about what are something we could do today to um, yeah, take care of our health and uh, really think about what do we want, have the end in mind, right? What do I want to my retirement life look like? I want a healthy body. I want to go travel. Um, and I believe, of course, it applies to any area in our life, but we are taking a lot of time, maybe taking care of our children, taking care of our family, um, taking care of, of our business or career without the time, with no time to really think about maybe what are our true desire, what are our dreams, and uh, of course, our health. But those are literally the foundation for a great and a beautiful life. It's the most important asset, one of the most important assets actually in our life. So yeah, I'm uh, so grateful to be on this and have a chat again with David. And um, it's 
it's just such a beautiful topic. And uh, thank you for having me here. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you, everyone, for being here in our episode. As you, as you mentioned, we can just tell you one thing. Your health is extremely important. If you don't think that, for example, if, you're, if in your house there were a leakage of water, you would fix that. You wouldn't wait until your house is flooded with water or damaging any other part of your house. So it is the same, any kind of symptom that you notice in your body, that you notice in your energy, that you notice in your sleep, in your attention is important. So take action before it's become a bigger, before it become, becomes a bigger problem. Mm -hmm. And we are here to help. We are here to support you with this information. So if you like this episode, just help us to Give us comments, reactions, and of course, share the message. Thank you. And we will listen to each other on our next episode. Thank you, Angelina. Thank you, David. And thank you, listeners. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Bye.